Welcome to hole number six on the old course, Heathery Out. A short par four at around 360 yards. But we come across something a little bit different from what you've had so far. Well, a common feature in many of the older Lynx courses. This is something that we don't have too much at St Andrews. We have a blind tee shot playing over the hills towards the fairway in the distance. That we can't see. Now the carriage streets the fairway is only around 160 yards, so that shouldn't cause too much trouble for the average golfer. But playing towards a fairway that we cannot see can cause problems with confusion and self-doubt. One of the premises of NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, is the map is not the territory. This tells us that the way we see the world is completely subjective and what we think might be out there could be completely false. As we stand in this tee and look at our stroke saver, what do we see? Most of us see a straight hole with a very narrow fairway and lots of bunkers both on the right and the left. In reality, what we have is a hole that is a slight dog leg. In fact, it has a very wide fairway. And even though your caddy gives you a line and tells you what's over the hill, it's difficult not to trust what you see on the map or the stroke saver. I remember being told a story about an old Irish caddy at Royal County Down, which has many blind tee shots like the one here. He was caddying in a group where one of the golfers decided he didn't need a caddy. This happens quite a lot at St Andrews, where a three ball allows a single golfer who has been waiting in line to join up. Often the single golfer asks more questions of the caddy than the rest of the group. He looks for more advice than the golf that they're actually caddying for. Nothing annoys and frustrates caddies more than golfers wanting information for free. This leech of a human being as someone similar to someone who would hide in the trunk of a taxi or perhaps who would drink your pint in the bar while you're away at the bathroom. On this particular hole at Royal County Down, the golfer without the caddy slides his ball 30 yards wide of the target over the hill. Pointing to where his ball had gone, he turned to the old caddy and asked, What the hell is over there? With a wry smile, your fecking ball was a sweet reply from the caddy. As we walk down this fairway, we come to this last little bunker on the right side that juts out just a little bit. This is my nemesis, the bunker that I find more often than any other bunker when I play the old course. Even although I know it's there, when I hit a tee shot, I know it's going straight in the bunker. My playing partners will often say, good shot, thinking I'm on the fairway, but I know fine well I'm in this little bunker again. I've woken up in the middle of night having cold sweats and nightmares about this horrible little bunker. Sad and pathetic, I know, but then again, that's golfers for us. Not the deepest of bunkers, it usually only costs me a bogey, but it is a short par four and a potential birdie hole. Anyway, enough of my woes, but it's fair enough to say that me and this little bunker are definitely not on speaking terms. The bunker, though, did give me a little poem that he wrote. His style's not so much that of Robert Burns, but more of the eccentric Dundee poet, William McGonagall. That sinking feeling. It's not the deepest of bunkers. The ball's lying okay. You shuffle your shoes and get ready to play. Thuds in the face, rolls back into a hole with steam in your ears, your temper to control. You shuffle again, this time up to your ankle. An enraged, hurried swing. You're all in a fankle. The ball stays put, but stares. But you did move some sand. It was all going so well, everything, as you planned. Shuffling again, this time up to your knees. Like a whirling dervish, you try to appease. It nearly got out, it climbed right up the face. But you're back where you were, at the start of the race. Shuffling once more, all the way up to your hip. Is it that hard to clear a mere four foot lip? This time it rebounds right over your head. I bet you wish you'd taken up tennis instead. 
shuffling again and it's up to your neck. It must be the club. It's just not the right spec. Shuffle more. And the, all that's left is your golfing soul. The sands of St Andrews have swallowed you whole. Before we finish, I'd like to address some of the interesting, thought-provoking and downright stupid questions that we had asked by our golfers while caddying. The golfer I was working with was getting frustrated about the short distance he was hitting the ball. He turned to me and asked, Hey Colin, how far are we above sea level? Well, with global warming, St Andrews is lucky still to be above sea level. And the Lynx Trust is working hard with sea defences to make sure that it stays that way. The gentleman that asked me this question played his golf in Denver, Colorado. And in the Mile High City, the ball would travel forever in the thin air. His golfing ego, just like his golf golf ball, had been brought down to earth with a premature thump. It got me thinking and looking towards this man's future and possibly untimely demise. I imagine after his life, this gentleman would be up at the pearly gates of heaven, and I guess the conversation would go something like this. Hey, St. Pete, how are you? St. Pete, could you tell me, how far is heaven above sea level? Only for St. Peter to produce the bolt of lightning, sending him crashing down into the bowels of hell. Hey, Beelzebub. Love your horns, by the way. Beelzebub, could I just ask you, how far are we below sea level here? With nowhere left for him to go, the devil would send this man back to earth, where he would be forced to play the most boring golf hole on the most boring golf course, with the most boring caddy on the planet for the rest of his life. But hey, that's just my imagination. And on that note, it's time to end another episode. Like and subscribe for some more of your bunker mentality. And in the meantime, as Confucius said, a drowning golfer will clutch at any rake to escape a bunker. Happy golfing. Thanks for watching.